Santiment's API, also known as San API, is one of the fastest API resources out there in cryptocurrency. You can use all of the same metrics and assets that are available to you on Sandbase and use them in an API format that's comfortable for you. Our API holds well over 2,000 different assets and 850 metrics, and it's all right here on our api.santiment.net homepage. All of these links, by the way, that I'll be sharing are available in the bio of this video. You can also check out the API overview here on our Academy page, and it discusses why we chose the GraphQL over REST method, as well as how to access the API, where you can find the metrics, the supported blockchains, and even the rate limits where you can get hundreds of different calls per minute. When it comes to accessing your API key, it's as simple as going to any Sandbase page. Here I'm on the main app.sentiment.net homepage, and I'm going over to my profile and then scrolling down to account settings. Once you're on your account settings page, you can simply scroll down to your API keys section down here. And where this white section is, you'll see an API key that's custom for you. You can hit copy or you can revoke it. You can also see exactly how many API calls you've made throughout the month down here. And now here is our main GraphQL page where you can actually import any of your code for Python or anything else you'd like to use our API for. Enter in the code here. In this case, it's an example of looking at the exchange inflow for Bitcoin. And then we can simply hit this button here. And then you can see, of course, the output on this side here. You can also check out the SandPy GitHub. This is the Python client for crypto data from Santiment API. And the library gives you all the utilities needed for accessing the GraphQL Santiment API endpoint and convert the result to Pandas data frame. You can also check out the Santiment Academy link here, which I already shared. And there's a full table of contents for you to look through should you have any information that you'd like to look up. That's it for the SAN API. We hope this is helpful and we can't wait to hear how it's working for you. Thanks so much.